hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther mofri in today's video i want to give you weekly strategy this is whereby you use weekly time frame to make a decision this strategy is all uh, about um waiting for five days in the market before you do anything and then when that candle closes on friday uh on monday you know what to do if the if the market has given you a confirmation mostly when we use this uh weekly strategy we are looking for just two things we have um let me let me draw it with the box you will have a, a very strong resistance and a very strong support you will have a market like that so most probably your market you'll have noticed um it was going on a very uh good upward but there's a very key support a uh, resistance zone that this market is not able to break so with weekly um with weekly time frame you will know if the market can break this ceiling that resistance you have higher chances of buying in that market and targeting so many pips again if the market is going on a downward side so this is a market that has been going on our downward side so like that let me uh, show you so the market has been going down and then there's this major support it has not been broken for months for years and then you go to weekly time frame and all you're waiting to see is that break so weekly time frame you'll wait for five days and i'll show you how you get uh you make this strategy work for you all you do is that you know uh, all the patterns that you might um the patterns are uh, not patterns all the pairs that you know major minor you just flip weekly and you'll be able to spot so i have four examples that i will show you guys very quickly i have four examples and with the examples i'll just tell you put these pairs in your watch list because once they can break that resistance or that support you will have higher chances of uh, making in quite a you will make uh profits when you trade those pairs so let's start with usd card you can see it is very hard at this moment you are on our we are on our four hour time frame it's very hard to know what is happening because on four hour we can see clearly the resistance was broken and the market it's like it seems it wants to go up the reason why i shift to weekly strategy is because you can think that because the market has broken this resistance and today being on a monday the market will continue to go up but what if i tell you in three in five days up to friday so many things can happen this market can decide to go down like this and you are wondering why was i given a fake breakout why did the market break and then i entered by but at the end by friday the market was selling it's because there are some setups you only trade them on weekly confirmation so at this moment we have a resistance there and you have a very uh small support here and this market is uptrend unless they start breaking this support so on on four hour yes you will buy but what is what is a guarantee that this market will continue to go up that is question number one if i shift to daily the problem with daily we have so many attaches on this we have you can see what daily is doing we have this one we have this one so which one do we follow we have all these and the market now it is on that zone so on daily it is too much information you have too much information on daily that sometimes we feel we want to at least go higher time frame so that we can know the actual resistance that we are that we want it to be broken and that's why we we will shift to weekly so when we go to weekly time frame i think now things are much clear this is our weekly time frame you can see things are much clear you can see the farthest uh, i think highest point of this market is this zone and the market already tried to break that zone so i'll bring where the last tip of the uh the last tip of the can of the week so it is it is uh evident that 2964 is the highest price the market was since 21st since uh last year december so six months the market has not uh able to break 
this resistance so you can imagine if the market has taken six months for the for the resistance to be broken what if it breaks and it shows you that we have broken or you know at resistance we can get some rejection what if we get very good rejection not only a rejection but we get with a bearish candle you'll know that usd card by next week i'll be looking to sell so you don't come with one side come with two sides that the market can either break or reject so at this moment this market can reject our resistance this is usd card it can reject our the zone 2964 and if this zone is rejected we will go back to where the market we can even put um 20 ma maybe the market can drop all the way to 27 at this moment we are 29 that's almost 200 and something pips so guys weekly strategy it gives you a bigger picture so for me i don't think i'll be trading usd card this uh this week why because i'm not sure what is what is happening the close of friday candle that candle the way it, it will close it will give me the direction if this market breaks i know this market will maybe continue to go on the upward if they reject i know i will sell up to 27 so that's how weekly uh, strategy is all about so let's go to the other example the other example is audi usd and audi usd is in a place where everyone is thinking for reversal everyone is thinking for reversal because we can see clearly that the market has been rejecting this area for some some uh for quite a while since 2020 two years the market has never broken this zone and that's why i'm selling you on four hour you cannot see these things on forward, the, what you will see is market maybe for maybe a month. On daily, you can be able to see market for a few months. The weekly, we can be able to see the market in a bigger picture. We can see that Audi USD is very interesting. Why? Because uh, they rejected that zone. You can see the way the zone is rejected. So the market is at this point. So if you want to trade Audi USD, all I can say, just give it time this week. To know what is happening. GBP CHF the same. In this market it has been rejecting this zone. Guys this zone has been rejected since. Um, this is how you trade weekly uh, strategy. You will see since November last year. The market has rejected this zone. 2150. This zone 2150 it has been rejected. And then from last year it's like. Seven months, eight months, that zone has not been uh, been broken. And you can see react, it reacted, it rejected two weeks rejection and nothing is happening. So what if this market today, uh, this week, buyers push it and they break the 20 MA and the candle closes with a bullish engulfing candle? What if you get a bullish engulfing candle on weekly? It is a clear buy it is a clear buy but gbp chf until this time it is not clear the direction it will take because the buyers can be rejected and they can come and break the support so that is gbp chf and the last one is gbp card you can see gbp card uh it it has it broke uh whoever saw this whoever saw this in the market and i saw it this is a trade i took it broke here. The, I, I saw this weekly candle and I've been selling GBP card until around here. And I was not sure if it will come. It will come back. Uh, it will go down this far. But what if they break that zone? Let me show you. What if GBP card closes like that? What if they close this green candle that is uh, forming here? Because today is Monday. We don't know. You can see the market was here last week. What if now they decide to break? So if you're trading GBP card, buying, 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 what if by Friday now they break? If they break that support, what do you think will happen? The market will continue to go down. So basically on weekly time frame, what I can tell you guys is that you don't, you, you just have to wait for those five days to get clear direction of where the market is going. You have to wait. You have to wait. You have to wait. So the, the pairs that I've told you to wait is USD card. Wait for the five days. Uh, I would do USD. Wait. GBP CHF. GBP card. Just wait. 
and then you'll know the direction. So that is the weekly strategy. Just wait, put your resistance, mark it and leave it. Don't try to trade all oh, daily, it has broken. Just come back after five days. It, if it breaks, if it breaks that support, you now you are sure of what to do. Even if you are selling, you know, weekly they broke. And if at all a support has been broken, the market will go down. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Love you.